now done and we are now heading to Dingo. Dingo Bell, Dingo Bell, Dingo. <laughs> it's a three hour drive and we have two more hours to go. It's quite tiring to be driving long distances. Well, I'm not the one who's driving, but it's also tiring to be sitting down here. We have now arrived to the last part of our two-week trip. If you haven't seen our other vlogs during this trip, link down below. From the county of Clare, we headed to the county of Kerry to visit the town of Dingo. parking just outside a little bit of the city center because if you park in the city center it's not free you have to pay and we like to have free things we like to save money with these small details like parking we're just gonna have a small walk going to the city now just five minutes The center of the town of Dingo is very charming with its colorful buildings. Dingo is known for its sea life. There are some boat tours so you can see dolphins and seals. This is now the last accommodation in our Wild Atlantic Way trip. We chose this place because it's cheaper. It's 15 minute drive from the center of Dingo. Breakfast is not included so we will just go to the center of Dingle to have our breakfast. So now let's go and see inside. Enjoying? Yeah. The sky is so amazing now, but it's too windy. I'm inside the car waiting for Chano, and I'm eating a cold fish and chips. <laughs> I'm so hungry. They're eating our leftovers. 
the cigarettes are not ours. It's time to hit the road again. This is where we, I'm gonna trek to see another lake. My husband is just right there. I came all the way up here. It doesn't look that easy because these rocks are huge and you have to step on them, step and grab on them. It's quite slippery. As you can see, it's raining. Here we can see the Irish goat with yellow fur who can reach any place in the mountain. How did you go down? I jumped. Just kidding. Be careful when climbing up to the lake, especially if it has been raining, because the rocks get really slippery. There are specific places where you can stop for your car, so 
other cars can pass. That's how narrow these roads are. So basically, this is a free parking for the Galarus Oratory. You can use the other parking, which is closer, but you have to pay for the visitors center. This one is free. The Galarus Oratory was built between the 7th and 8th century and is the best preserved early Christian church in Ireland. Once again, we experience the unpredictable Irish weather. But of course, that didn't stop us from exploring the place. Last day of adventure. Almost. Ah, it's zero visibility. You have to follow the light. My love, don't follow the light. No matter what happens, don't follow the light. <laughs> He's totally soaked. This place is amazing, but it's raining. We need to come back here in the future. You cannot really appreciate the place because it looks foggy. some trekking and visit the waterfall but we thought we don't want to be so 
tired tomorrow because China will be working at 6 a.m. and I will be working at 8 a.m. so we'll just head home and enjoy our beautiful memories. That was the end of our Wild Atlantic Way adventure. Like in every trip, it is always sad to end it, but we're happy to have beautiful memories to remember. Please watch our other vlogs of this unforgettable road trip. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, keep exploring rain or shine.